starting with the base walls and uh, those guys are working in what's going to be the garage area. This is going to be a storage area. It's going to be lined with shelves for equipment, tools, canned foods, things like that. Laundry room and a little deck beside the laundry room. And starting to take shape and there's my buddy Gecko and his wife. great day you can see the base blocks are well set into place and my goodness it's gonna be a big garage for old Barry I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this because that's what keeps me busy Good morning everybody, Maestro Keiko, we're over here bringing some little snack cakes and uh, some malt drink, I don't even know, but I guess the workers like it. It's Saturday and it's a legal holiday here, uh, Labor Day, but uh, you can see what we got on our project and that's why I love understanding local culture and having the builder that I chose, the contractor. There he is with a black jacket on going to say hi to Keiko. And right now we all having a snack of some kind of malt and some kind of sponge cake, which is a normal treat here that shows appreciation, okay? So being it's Labor Day and everyone was glad to work, we doing it. Yeah, so everybody's just enjoying snacks. Keiko's catching me up to speed, teaching me a few more things every day I'm learning. And the guys are just going to enjoy a little snack and we're going to get another day of work in here. And you can see they're already climbing up higher on the bricks. This is good. All right, you got the gist of it. All right, at the end of the week, you're here with Barry, and there is a fair bit of progress. It's like Keiko was saying, when they come in here, they're going to move quickly once the blocks start going into place, okay? So this is uh, what will be my garage and kind of play area for me anyway. And I don't want to fall in that storage. Okay, so walking in here, there'll be a man door. This is all going to be storage, shelves, tools, and whatever. Okay, this will be Leanne's little laundry room. There'll be a half bath outside. And uh, when people are doing lawns and this and that, or friends or whatever, just because this little part here is going to be patio. Okay, so this will be uh, quite nice for a downstairs patio while you're doing laundry or if a person wanted to just take a break, you know, from uh, putzing around in the garage or anything like that. Starting off in the morning here, and we had more blocks delivered last night, and already these guys are really hard at it, and I'm impressed. And again, the biggest thanks in the world goes out to my buddy and friend and family, Keiko, Jose to most people, and uh, anybody in the future, once we're done looking to do a project like this, man, his knowledge just blows me away every day and how much money he's saving me versus the regular prices and my goodness I'm happy. 
anyway just want to keep you guys in the loop and I hope you guys are learning from this okay they're uh, hard at it and they'll be finished this little section of the wall I believe even today hey eh, Capo maybe today Perfect, and they've done a beautiful job on that stem wall. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. And we we'll just do a quick front panorama of the progress since yesterday, and you could start to see. Okay, there's Maestro, my teacher, my contractor, Chago, and that's what I love. He is actively out here working. There's no games when he's not around and coming back once or twice a day to check. Phenomenal. Alright, we're basically finished with the stem wall and they're calculating the square meters of it now and pretty good. Really satisfied with this and I'm glad this part of it's done, the stem wall, and really came out well. Okay, to catch up, you see they're starting to make the forms now for the main columns. Okay, keeping you guys up to date here. Well, the ants here doing some filming. Keiko, those are the stone men in the back there who made the wall. They finished today. We just got done paying them. So as you can see, a lot. These, I got to admit, these guys are moving along here. But you can see the forms now around the steel columns okay you can start to envision where our windows are going to be in the garage okay. and you can see how they're putting in the form for another that's going to be uh, you know with cement block and reinforce and they'll take the wood down you know very interesting way of construction and uh, i'll just do a little bit around the back because they are actually finished with the wall and uh, honestly so far things are going uh, really really smooth okay at the end of the day so they backfilled where the wall is okay this is against and that's the road that leads to the other couple of lots there's only like three four lots on this whole road and everything's backfilled on that we're going to keep that open and we're going to have a doghouse out there and that cement pad and the rest of this is going to be lawn and it also continues around the back but that's the gist of it so the wall people are done fitting in the braces there like i was telling you yesterday so you see those wood pieces okay they're putting in those braces horizontally they space them up off the bottom of the wood like the rest of the rebar was spaced, remember, so concrete can go under it. And then when it's, you can see the rebar rests on top of the blocks. Okay, but the support is coming from the steel across the top of all windows on this type of construction, okay? There's my man Chago. And like I say, beginning to love this guy. He is just what I want in a contractor. He is phenomenal. Okay, and now you have one once the wood's been removed. That's what the final brace on top is. That's the weight bearing and the strength. Okay, hope this helps. I think it was a good week, Leanne. Jacob's saying everything's looking the way it should. Jago's happy. It was a good week. Good way to finish it up. Well, happy Monday to y'all. Uh, walking up to the site here and Keiko's looking, they're dropping some more materials. And as you can see, every day is a big difference. And now I'm gonna stop, zoom in a bit. And now you're getting to see the height of the garage and the first floor, okay? So that's the beauty part about having uh, four meter high garage ceiling because one day I may put a, a lift in there if I really get back in a 
having some fun and rebuilding trucks. But either way, uh, we wanted the extra height. So I'm going to do some pictures, but uh, yeah, you can clearly see the windows now, how the braces are set up. They still use natural timbers. It's amazing. We'll talk to you soon. Everything's coming along great. Okay, and look at how they still use the natural timber scaffolding and bracing, eh? To me, that's incredible. But here you go. Now that. These are all the main columns, okay? Now that is a column. Okay, the wood is off it now. That's what you were seeing in the previous video uh, with that huge rebar bracing. I'll bring it up. It's still sticking out the top. Okay. Now that is strong by anybody's standards. Do not hit that because it's going to leave a mark. What a great Monday and Keiko's pretty happy. <laughs> it's been a great uh, I'm really, really uh, impressed. Like I'm saying, Yo, very good quality construction. I'm, I'm really learning a lot, and I can't, uh, can't thank him enough for the gift of friendship. Alright guys, just doing a little check here on a small modification. Again, I just love these guys making this. You can see all the reinforcement rod done in today. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, I just can only always say I just hope it stays this way because this is amazing. I am so happy with the work that's being done right here. Okay, and these are the braces and columns for the carport. It's really starting to take shape. Uh, they'll be on the second floor. And that won't be too long. Well, you're back here with me, and a uh, lot more work, a lot of progress today. On the other side, I'm gonna walk you. God, they do. They even it's even swept. You know, your foundation's even swept clean. You're just at this stage. I'm impressed. Anyway, we're going through. Will we'll be the storage room. Okay, it will be the laundry room and they also started all the bracing up here getting ready for the second floor of the first floor patio so these guys did a tremendous amount of work today gosh i love these natural ladders and natural scaffolding ah, i love this place for certain things guys uh, it doesn't look like much but uh, there is actually all those uh, casings now okay where the main beams that are going to be going across you see the second one in the garage the front one there's also other ones in the back and on the side going into the patio there 
Uh, but this is a fair bit different because all that's been poured now and it's setting. Oh. Well, here you have it. They removed all the wood braces and they're stacking the blocks going to the second story. Uh, I sent it, I'll probably include a picture of the bracing, but uh, it's all but off now. Okay, this one brace is still on, but the rest of them are off here and uh, they're already starting the brickwork above. So everything's going well. Uh, not much else I can tell you with at this point until the roof starts going on. Mm -hmm.